私の初舞台というのは9歳でした歌舞伎役者として一生捧げようと思ったのが高校生のちょうど3年生ぐらいでしたか。This is Sakata Tojuro. He is one of Japan's most famous kabuki actors. In a few minutes, he will step on stage to perpetuate a theatrical tradition that's four centuries old. I am a kabuki actor. I am a kabuki actor. I am a kabuki actor. というものを大事にするということですね。そういう一つのまあ厚かましいけれども大きい夢を持ちながら毎日舞台を務めております。はい。Each year, Choiji and Hayato Hoshi, members of an amateur kabuki troupe, travel from their mountain village to Tokyo. Hayato's two sons, the two youngest actors in the company, are joining him for the first time. Created in the 17th century by a former priestess who turned to dancing, Kabuki has remained a popular element of Japanese culture to this day. Thanks to the determination of small troops, such as Hayoto and Choji's, it still exists. Even in the most remote regions of the islands where actors perform a version known as village kabuki. But what will the future bring? Many amateur theaters lacking funds or participants have already closed down. To save this ancestral art, UNESCO declared kabuki a masterpiece of oral and intangible heritage. This is the Kabukiza, Japan's largest kabuki theater. Here, the actors, all professionals, perform what is called Grand Kabuki. Located in the heart of the fashionable Yinza, it remains one of the strongest champions of this endangered theatrical art. For the small troupe, this annual visit to Tokyo is first of all a pleasure, but it's also an opportunity to learn how to refine a gesture, a movement, or an entrance by observing the masters of Grand Kabuki as they perform. Soon, the curtain decorated with traditional colors will open, and the actors will make their entrances via the Hanamichi, the raised wooden platform leading to the stage. <laughs> The show today is celebrating Sakata Tojuro's 77th birthday. For this unique performance, all the members of his family join him on stage. The most surprising aspect of Kabuki theater is that even today, all the roles are played by men. The female characters, and by extension, the actors who play them, like Sakata Tojuro, are known as Onagata. The art of onagata became one of the specific aspects of kabuki after women were banned from the stage in 1629. <laughs>
kabuki, each role obeys strict codes, which require a rigorous apprenticeship. Most actors, therefore, generally specialize in one type of role. Only the most experienced actors manage to master the different techniques specific to each character. Sakata Tojuro is one of them. He can play several roles during the same performance. Hayato, his eldest son Masato, and Toshihiro, the troops director, are also using this trip to Tokyo to purchase the accessories they need for their upcoming performances. They visit the Fujinami workshop, the oldest manufacturer of kabuki accessories in Japan. Having miraculously survived the 1923 earthquake and the bombings during the Second World War, the Fujinami preserved these priceless treasures. The accessories, transmitted for generations among the greatest families of kabuki actors, are stored and maintained here. <笑>こっちがね昔からのもう本物そっくりの製法で作った料理なんですよでただしね今の俳優さんが大きいでしょ体が切らないですよ小さくてああなるほどええそれで今の俳優さんの体に合うようにこれ全部今徐々に作って
綺麗にあのおしろいを落としてセットし直せば、はい、カブキウィグス、like those for other traditional ceremonies, are made from real hair. But hair is increasingly hard to find because Japanese women no longer wear their hair as long as they did in the past. The small troop does not have enough money to have swords made by the Fujinama workshop, so they decide to visit one of the large souvenir markets in Tokyo. Maybe here, among the trendy t shirts, umbrellas, paper lanterns, and postcards, they will find what they need to complete their samurai outfits. Here, Long swords, short swords, katana, and wakizashi. The sword, along with the fan, is one of the main accessories in kabuki. The sword is essential for fight scenes and also identifies the social status of a character. But these katana are a godsend, but they really made a hole in the troops' budget. To Kabukiza, the scenery changes with each successive program. The Kabuki performances consist of one or several plays and last an entire day. As indicated by its Japanese name, Kabuki is the art of music and dance, an extremely stylized dance in which each gesture has a highly precise meaning. The actor expresses the full force of a feeling by holding a pose motionless. He expresses the essence and nothing else, the pure feeling. To the notes of the shamisen, a three stringed instrument with a plaintive sound, a narrator reveals the thoughts of the characters and their emotions while describing what's happening on stage. Backstage, Kazutaro, Sakato Tojuro's grandson, watches his grandfather perform. Kazutaro has seen this scenery a thousand times as it transforms before the audience's eyes. From an early age on stage, he has watched the snow covered landscapes of Hokkaido, the silent countryside of Kansai, and the cherry trees in blossom. He has seen couples in love and heartbroken, as well as armies of samurai killing each other to defend their clan. Standing as close as possible to the stage, Kazutaro has soaked up his grandfather's knowledge, capturing the secrets of his art. Soon, it will be his turn to bring to life these characters he has known since childhood, if he decides to pursue the tradition perpetuated by his family. It's a heavy responsibility stepping into such a long line of artists when you're only 17 years old. Ah. <laughs> 中村和太郎です年は、えー、17歳で、えー、父親が歌舞伎役者をやっていて今歌舞伎をやっていて、まあ、代々つながっているものなのでいずれは継がなきゃいけないものだと思うんですけれどでもかといって絶対ちょっと父親にも祖父にも誰も強制されたことが今までそう言われたこともないし。In the rehearsal room of the Kabukiza, Kazutaro is preparing the next show with his father and grandfather. <laughs> Although they act in different plays, all the actors work together for the first rehearsals. Kazutaro, 
it's a good time to get advice from his grandfather. This new performance is a turning point in Kazutaro's career because this is his first major role. He's playing an onagata. These female figures are the most complex in the repertory and require an extremely sophisticated expertise. Kazutaro cannot just imitate a woman. The essence of his work consists in actually becoming a woman the moment he sets foot on stage. Nakamura Kanjaku, Kazutaro's father, takes his son into the immense and silent room of this legendary theater. It has collapsed three times due to fire, war, and earthquakes. But each time, it was rebuilt larger and more solid than before, as if to underscore the persistence of kabuki throughout the centuries. Its emblem is the phoenix, a symbol of rebirth and light. <laughs> あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
神様見てくださいっていうふうに見せてるからだからお金はもらわない第一の目的は神様に芝居をそうそうそうそう Until the mid 20th century, the Hinoe Mata villagers prayed for protection against the rigors of winter and famine. Today, even though no one starves to death anymore, the villagers still ask the gods for mercy and still perform three kabuki shows every year for them. それぞれの仕事のほかにやるんで、まあ、練習なんかも夜だとか自宅に帰ってとか私なんかも、まあ、手が空いたらあのこういうのまあいじったり作ったりするのが好きなもので、えーまあ、小道具歌舞伎の小道具なんかも買えるものもありますけども買ったらやっぱり、えー、金がかかりますし、えー、自分でこういうものだったら作った方がいいんじゃないのかなと。例えばこういうい小道具についても矢が柱に刺さって、まあ、いろんな廃物を組み合わせて、えー、やって、えー、試行錯誤、まあ、何度か試しをしながらやったんですけどもそこの中で、えー、そのタイミング義太夫のタイミングに合わせて、えー、こちらで黒子さんがこの紐を引くということで、えー、例えばやってみますけども、えー、向こうで、えー、弓を行った矢が飛んできたっていう時にそうすると柱に矢が飛んできて刺さったように見えると。Despite the active participation of many villagers, the future of the theater is extremely uncertain because it is the elders who perpetuate the tradition. Who will take over when the elders are gone? Ms. Yoko Odagiri is a member of the International Theater Institute, a UNESCO partner. Her visit to Hinoe Mata is a valuable support for the leaders of the troupe who explain the difficulties they face. かなりの負担になりますよね。今日はもう冬は星空星空で痛いくらいの寒い時もあれば、雪がもさもさ吹いてる時もあれば、吹雪の時もあるし、まあ冬冬練習するんでね。その中でも行かなきゃなみたいな。みんなが普通の人が晩酌してる時間、晩酌しないでここに来て。三味線とか音楽の方ですね、うんうんはい、鳴り物の方たちっていうのはやっぱり練習なさるわけですか、はい、昔はいたんですけども、はい、うちの方も、えー、昭和26年に、まあ、地元でやってた方が亡くなってからは地元にいなくなって、ええ、そ,それ以降は今今回もそうですけどもテープレコーダーに撮ったものでやってるんですよ。ああすねまあ、普通の歌舞伎でではありえなないような感じなんですがですからテープに合わせた踊りというかそんな感じで、ね、あ,あの取り方とか非常にですから難しいんですよ呼びましょうよそう,<笑>ねそういうふうにあの、うん、してで村の皆さんも、うん、あの三味線をできるようになって、うんなればねでえーうん、そして歌って。While the small troupe in Inoue Mata is searching for ways to save its theater, Kazutaro, in his family home in Tokyo, gets ready to rehearse his role once again. Here, 七役中心蔵っていう芝居で祖父が早変わりで七つもの役をやってるんですねこれはすごい珍しいことで女方もあったり立ち役もあったりするんですけどすごい
これ武さんのね、うん、上に乗っちゃってって言われたああ,あ,あのとにかくほら入ってるだろ入って落とさ,落とされるの、うん、もう一回ちょっとやってもらうその入ってるから奥に様いかがなされましたもし奥に様あっまだ3回でしょやってその自分でどこで何がやるかってことをまずしっかり決めてやってなさい段取,り段取りにならないようにねどうしても段取りを追うから今日、はい、を見てください、はいはい本番がもう近いんで明日舞台稽古なんで顔をしたり衣装を着たりしなきゃいけないんでそれをの材料として前にやった役者さんの絵を見て顔の特徴をつかんだり着物のどうやって着てるかとか見たりそれからあとビデオでも確認しないといけないんでそういう作業を今してます。やっぱりこの役なんですけど暗いところでライト上がるとすごい光って顔が見えますよね今気づいたことですよねそうですねソフとかの時代ってまだビデオないと思うんでただどうなんだろうなやっぱない時代って本当に生のを見るしかなかったと思うんですよねとかあとは先輩の人にえー、と全部教わるとか他のその役者さんにもこれやってる役者さんにも聞くんですけどやっぱり結構前のことだしやっぱりプロの役者さんは毎日毎,毎月毎月やってることだから結構覚えてなかったりもするんでそれもやっぱりビデオで確認するのが一番いいんですよね。It's Friday night in the capital's trendy neighborhoods. The young Japanese are going out for some fun, but Kazutaro has the dress rehearsal at the Kabukiza. It's the final rehearsal performed exactly as the real performance, which is tomorrow. Kabuki is such a codified art that the actor's initial work consists in reproducing the gestures of his ancestors as closely as possible. Only an experienced artist takes the liberty of modifying a role. In the early 17th century, women were banned from the stage on order of the shogunate of the time to put an end to the flourishing prostitution among kabuki actors. They were replaced by young men who would also be excluded from the theater for the same reasons. Today, young men can perform, but women were never allowed back on stage. And the art of the onagata developed to ultimately become one of the fundamental aspects of kabuki theater. Spring has returned to Hinoemata, and the villagers are preparing their theater for the first performance of the year. Before rebuilding the central panel of the old structure, they installed the Hanamichi. All kabuki theaters have this raised platform 
that extends the stage into the middle of the audience. The hanamichi is generally used by the main characters to underscore the importance of their entrances and exits. But initially, the wooden platform was used at the end of the performance when the actors come out to take their bows. The audience tossed flowers to them, hence the Japanese name, the Path of Flowers. Like the flowers that grow so profusely in this mountainous region, the small theater, finally cleared of its thick mantle of snow, opens slowly. The excitement among the troupe is palpable, which sometimes makes them a little clumsy. <laughs> Backstage, the actors are having their final fittings. Everyone's costume and accessories are placed together carefully to avoid any last minute surprises and the more experienced actors transmit their recently acquired knowledge to the youngest. <laughs> this year, as every year, for two and a half centuries, the theater is finally ready for the audience. Ms. Odagiri has traveled from Tokyo to attend the performance. She was not expecting to see this beautifully decorated small wooden theater, but many people admire the Hinoe Mata's Kabuki, and their donations have been critical to saving this heritage. <laughs> for Masato and his little brother to make their entrances. They both stand behind the Ajemaku, the curtain separating them from the audience. In a few minutes, they will be on the Hanamichi, in a deep forest inhabited by a princess who is protected by a fox man. People come from far and wide to attend the three annual performances of the Hinoe Mata Theater. Even the greatest of kabuki actors come here to discover the ancestral movements of certain characters, which have remained unchanged since they were created because of the village's isolation. Hey, <laughs> 
女の人か旦那の好きな女の人はいどうもやっちまえThere's no shamisen here. No one plays it anymore. Or a singer narrator. No one sings kabuki anymore. The villagers simply use a tape recorder to recreate the illusion. Despite their difficulties, Hinoe Mata has once again managed to continue the tradition this year. To celebrate the event, the entire troupe gathers on stage to enjoy a simple meal to which Ms. Odagiri is invited. Perhaps together, they will find new solutions to protect the Hinoe Mata tradition. Night has fallen in the mountains. Now, only the gods watch over the village and its small kabuki theater. In Tokyo, Kazutaro spends the afternoon with two friends before tonight's performance. だ普通になって試合とか出るとか緊張する。それと同じでしょ、普通に。そんな感じの緊張。手がやっぱり。舞台出るときって、そうやっぱ緊張するの。逆に、なんか歌舞伎やる前に、なんか必ず。なんか自
テープ取るの持ってますねテープ貼るまでねエアゴザイマスおめでとうございますエアクターウィッドローズインテヘスロールあこれはいいんですかシロあそうだったアポンデブランクニュートラリティアディスフェイスデオナガタイスクリエイテッドはい、ありがとうございます。As his father and grandfather are at hand to watch him on stage. Inside the Grand Theater, Kazutaro knows that blood ties mean nothing. Tonight, it's the masters who have come to watch The Apprentice. ちょっと消すわ。If he takes the path of Kabuki, Kazutaro knows he will have to live up to the reputation of his illustrious family. And to the immense talent of his famous grandfather. Discreetly, Sakata Tojuru and his wife wait until the audience is in the Kabukiza before entering the theater. Seated in a special box away from the audience, they will watch their grandson perform. The final touches to the costume. The young man has become a courtesan. On stage, he will enter a countryside dotted with fireflies under a spring moon. Followed by his daishis, assistants in black who carry his accessories, he leaves his dressing room. His father gives him a few last tips in the theater basement. Project your voice. Lift your face. Feel for the light. It will make your face shine. The actor takes the small corridor to the wings, the Toya, which is at the back of the theater. This curtain bears the emblem of the mythical phoenix, and it leads to the path of the flowers.
休んでいこうよここでかいお梅ちゃんもそこへ腰を下ろしないよ着物をよこすのおかみさんへしかられやしませんかあ、ホタルが飛んだあらどこにあほらあそこまあ本当だあんたうちのことを思い出したんだろう姉ちゃんの今日が一周期なんですえー、お墓参りもしてあげられないで姉ちゃんかわいそうで私、まあ、姉さんの一周期も待てないで昨日から支えきたのお姉ちゃん、ね、頑張ってると思うし、ね、何よりも好きだっていうのが歌舞伎にとっては大きな財産だと思いますよねそういうこと歌舞伎全体にとってね、うん、ああいう若い役者がどんどん歌舞伎のことを好きになってやってくれるそれはやっぱり嬉しいことだな歌舞伎役者になりなさいなんて一度も言わないけれども自然と自分で頑張ってますから。歌舞伎の役者っていうのは長い人生ですからねそれを一本一本進んでいく姿をこれから大変だと思うけど非常にこう素直な芝居するんで何か。先輩の言うことよく聞いてるんだなそんな感じがするね私よりもね本人の心次第だから特別に自分の孫だからどうしようと思ったは一番いけないことでしょうねこういう役者になってくれとかそういうことを思うもんじゃないと思うんですよ A path forged by his father and grandfather Which will lead Kazutaro, the youngest of the Nakamura, to carry on the tradition of this ancestral art. <laughs>